God. Now tell my brother what I'm saying. Use your imagination, my comrades and friends. Just stop for a while. Shh, everybody. Hey, hey. What they have to put on the blue light on the police vehicle for? The red light, the flash, so good. They have to put the blue light over there. We'll soon take care of that anyways. <laughs> no worry about it. In the Antigua Bob, you the Labour Party. Them Antigua Labour Party for, an, for red, for blue, for purple, for yellow, for the whole of Antigua and Bob. You do not just blow to hell with red. They can dead. Not how we are. Oh. But, shh. Use your imagination. Tomorrow is election day. Everybody, we are all poised. Thank God we went to sleep. We can't wait. We anticipate in the next morning. Then you wake up the next morning, you go to the polls, and you do your voting. Thank God. It's your business, nobody else's but yours and God, and who you believe in and the party that you decide to give your vote to. Then you go to sleep, and the next morning you wake up and they say, The winner! The winner! The winner in Royal West is Gail Christian Murray! Mercy! Welcome your gal, Senator, your representative. What a morning. Lord knows what a morning. And she got some gals with her tonight and they want to come and pay some respects in their own way to their gal, Gail Christian. Then you'll hear from her. Welcome them. from the ghetto
House of labor. House of labor. Tonight, the Antigua and Barbuda Labor Party sends the signal that we are on guard and ready for the next general elections. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you satisfied that the Antigua Labor Party is ready to run this country, Antigua and Barbuda again? Are you satisfied that the real Prime Minister is Lester Bryant Bird? Are you satisfied? Comrades and friends, the Sunshine Government and its rays of high taxes, high cost of living, bombastic governance, and high crime has caused great hardship on Antiguans and Barbudans. But the rig, red, and white building over there stands as a beacon of hope for all Antigua and Barbuda. Whether you're red or blue, whether you are young or old, whether you are a citizen or a non-citizen. Comrades and friends, residents, citizens, crime is undoubtedly your number one issue and your number one concern. After the massacre at midnight of the top brass of the police force, the UPP continuously rattles off a shopping list of measures supposedly to curb crime. But every time they speak, there is a hike in the crime statistics. The empty words of the UPP is of little comfort to the victims of rape, to the victims of robbery, and to the families of those who have been murdered. You will recall the Prime Minister's announcement of his government's zero tolerance policy on crime. But comrades and friends, a mere 36 hours after, there were two murders in the Grace Green constituency. One in broad daylight. But the chief servant, come big man, dismissed it as the work of drug lords and deportees. And the murder rate rises and rises like a mighty big wave, threatening to consume us all. It consumed the young Antiguan med school, med student when he returned from school, no doubt the pride of his mother's heart. It consumed the Jamaican woman from the Sousa Road when she was beaten to death in her own home. And it viciously consumed the Malalis as they sought peace and tranquility in our beautiful Antigua Barbuda. And it has left Isilma weeping for Tash. But tonight I tell you that you have a responsibility to guard against this wave, lest we all perish. And I want to assure you that the gale force is pushing the big blue wave backwards. The gale force winds will push the big blue wave backwards. Have no fear, Antigua and Barbuda. Women of labor, on the eve of the International Day for the elimination of all forms of violence against women, we here in Antigua are consumed by the horrific acts of violence against our women. Thus far, there have been 48 rapes for the year. That is an average of four per month. One every seven days on an island of 108 square miles. We have had enough. Send the message to the United 